Hi everyone, Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. In my more than 25 years as a business continuity and crisis management professional, my experience has taught me that business teams who practice crisis, disruption, and continuity scenarios respond faster and recover more quickly than teams who do not. Managing those exercises though across a large complex organization is a tall order. That's why we have developed a set of crisis and continuity exercises that can be executed by your business leaders in an hour or less and don't require expert facilitation from your crisis management or business continuity team. We call this exercise in a box. And here at BrightPath, our battle-tested experts in business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications have put together 15 tabletop exercise scenarios that you can start using right away within your organization. So in this video, I would like to walk through with you our exercise in a box product from our Crisis Playbook brand. And I'll even show you the Crisis Playbook materials using our utility failure tabletop exercise as an example. We have carefully crafted this process to make it as simple as possible for your business teams to be able to conduct these business-centric tabletop exercises in about an hour, in 30 to 60 minutes on average. Here's what you're gonna find in Exercise in a Box. And I'll just, uh, I'm gonna share my screen here and just walk through this with you. First, you're gonna find an overview and leader's guide. So think of this as kind of the blueprint on how to use Exercise in a Box. It gives you the steps necessary for a business leader to set up and facilitate a successful tabletop exercise. It's meant to be used by a business team, not by your business continuity and crisis management team, although you could do that if you chose to. This guide walks through how to brief a tabletop exercise and move through the exercise with the team in less than an hour. It covers all the necessary steps to set up the exercise, conduct it, and then capture lessons learned. So we'll take a quick look here at the leader guide you can see it starts with a brief overview, and then it moves right into choosing a scenario and picking the exercise scenario that you wanna do, how to conduct the exercise, setting up a rough agenda, how to establish the room or virtual exercise room. You can even use a PowerPoint, which I'll show you if they choose to do that, although the PowerPoint is really optional. It's not necessary to have a successful exercise. And then it covers the slides and what you need to do here around that, and then how to conduct the lessons learned or hot wash immediately after the exercise. So again, this is a simple seven page guide for the leader on how to set up and then conduct and then conduct the exercise and then capture lessons learned from that. Here's an actual scenario, and you can get this scenario if you would like uh, on, our, on our Exercise in a Box product page. Uh, there's a button you can click and enter your email address and we'll send this over for you to have and to use. You'll get the actual uh, scenario guide that I'm gonna show you right here. Each of our scenario guides are about seven to eight pages long. Uh, this is the cover page here for utility failure. This particular situation, as you read here, is focused on a power outage, pretty common utility failure that one of your sites may have to deal with. The first page of each scenario really starts with just a, a clear English explanation as to what the tabletop scenario is, and then some instructions on how to go about putting that together. And then we cover all of the moves, all of the kind of linear moves we want to happen within the exercise. Each tabletop exercise starts with an opening scenario. In this case, it's Wednesday at 6.30 in the morning on a Sunday, November morning. We're expecting, expecting to have gusty winds. And then once the scenario is set, in this situation, then there's a set of questions or injects that the business leader can use to talk with their team. So, hey, would this prompt us to do anything from a preparation standpoint? Do we have a power, power failure plan for our facility or team or an emergency procedure we should follow? Do we have a backup generator? And do we have a point of contact with our power, our local utility provider? Then we go through three moves. The three moves are always the same. The first move, really sets the stage or a warning about the disruption. The second move is about response. The third move is a little later and it's about recovery. How do we recover from this thing that has happened? In this case, you're in the middle of a meeting with a few team members, the lights begin to flicker and then go out along with all the computers and equipment. So several questions here that the leader could use with their team. What are our immediate actions? Do we have backup light sources like flashlights? Do we have injury concerns? 
Who do we need to notify about the power outage? Would we stay here or would we leave? Based on our business continuity plans, how would we continue operations? If we have a backup generator, how does that change how we think about the situation? Is there anyone else you need to notify or coordinate with? Move two, the power's been out for four hours and now we kind of set some other details. And again, we have other questions about back to the backup generator. How does that influence the situation? Could equipment be damaged? Do we need to unplug or turn anything off? Do we have concerns around data loss or damage? And then in move three for recovery, now it's the next day at 10 a.m. and the power has been restored. What steps do we need to take to return to normal business operations? Is there anyone we need to notify of this update? The purpose of the questions is to facilitate a good conversation between the business leader and their team, the exercise participants, in what they would do in this situation. And again, we've written these scenarios so that you don't need someone from your crisis management and business continuity team or program to manage this exercise. Your business leaders can conduct these on their own um, within the context of a meeting or as a, as a part of a team meeting or in all hands or as a, as a standalone exercise if they choose to do so. The final part of any of the tabletop scenarios is the hot wash discussion, that immediate after action conversation. And here we've simplified this down to what went well here? What do we see that we like, that we recognize and want to repeat? And where are there opportunities, places where we can improve or specific af uh, action items that we want to improve upon? So that is uh, one of our actual tabletop scenarios from, uh, from Exercise in a Box. There are 15 total scenarios covering a number of, scenario of situations that are in the product. In addition, we provide a number of other resources for you to use as a part of Exercise in a Box. The first is you can, you can, instead of having a verbal hot wash conversation, use a hot wash form where this captures information about the exercise from the participants. What went well, what could be improved, and additional comments. It's a simple one page. You can customize this in whatever way that you would like. We also have a full after action report template where you can have the business leader complete this and submit it or keep it on file. But basically, what was the exercise? What did we see as strengths and areas for improvement? What are some actions we want to take to be better next time around? And then any additional comments. We also include a corrective action template here in Microsoft Excel that would let you see um, the after action items that you want to capture. And as you can see from the various tabs, you can capture these across multiple exercises as well. Lastly, we have also included a PowerPoint template um, that's relatively unbranded that you can use to facilitate an exercise, but it's not necessary to use this, all the materials covered in the, in the leader guide. But again, it kind of breaks out the, you know, the roles, uh, the welcome and introduction. It covers some reminders about the, about the exercise, um, both for virtual and for in-person versions. It walks through the agenda. Uh, it provides an overview of an exercise and it gives you the ground rules. And then you can insert the move one, move two, move three as necessary as a part of that. So that's a little bit uh, about the actual material. All of that is included in the exercise in a box. In addition, you get editable versions of all of this material. So you get the actual Word versions uh, and the Excel versions of everything that I just showed you, which allows you to customize this in any way that makes sense for your organization. For example, maybe you use different terminology for employees. Maybe you have specific actions you want taken. Maybe there's a specific place you want these disruptions to be reported, or you want to better integrate this into existing material that you have for emergency procedures, site response plans, your crisis management framework, business continuity plans, or et cetera. So you get all of the source documentation in addition to the PDF versions of that. Now we do offer, there are other services we offer uh, to go alongside Exercise in a Box. This is part of our Crisis Playbook brand, Crisis Playbook is all about having a comprehensive set of crisis and emergency plans where you can purchase the plans right out of the box and get using them in PDF or Word format. So that's another service available to you. And of course, if you would like us to take our exercise in a box material and help customize that for you, 
we're available to do that as well. We would need to have a brief consultation conversation around that. So that's a little bit about exercise in a box. You can purchase the product right on our website uh, and get an immediate download and start to use it right away in whatever format, PDF or Word or, and the customizations that you choose to make on your end. So that's a little bit about exercise in a box. If you have any questions about the product or if we can help you in any way, send us an email at support at brightpath.com or give us a call at 612-235-6435.